Tonight, pushback from residents in Ogden has led the city mayor to press pause on paid parking downtown. New special Shelby Lofton has an update here on what city officials say they have learned. At this week's city council meeting, the mayor announced he's putting any parking changes downtown on pause. And he said the city government learned a lot of valuable lessons through this situation. All right, you guys. Let me... Uh... Several business owners left last week's heated paid parking meeting frustrated about what was coming to their block. It was like pitchforks and fire. After that, salon owner Thomas Hardy went before city council and the mayor to ask them to reconsider their plans. And we want to work together with the mayor and the city. The mayor responded with an apology. I'm sorry. Saying he would delay the program. I'm not comfortable pressing forward without having enough input. So rather than pressing forward, I want to press pause. Mayor Ben Nadolski said he made the decision after last week's meeting. It's uncomfortable to get the kind of input that we did, but it's okay. He said they hadn't heard from that group of business owners. We need to supplement the way that we've been doing outreach with some new ways to bring people around a table. Nadolski said paid parking is still a possibility, but he's not discussing it until further notice. I'm under pressure from some just to put a complete halt on it permanently. But I'm also hearing a lot of input that what's taking so long? We have parking issues downtown. Hardy said he'd like the city to amend parking costs for workers. That's a, a real expense. The mayor said he's committed to engaging the whole community on the parking issue when the time is right. Until then, parking is free. It's not great that people are upset, but it is really great that they're at the table now. The mayor told me this parking situation will be worked out in the future, though he doesn't have any specific timeline for those conversations. In Ogden, Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.